and BMW has recently shown off their iVision D at CES. Now this car is supposed to be a preview into BMW's future technological offerings. This car looks like no other in the automaker's current lineup. And that's the point, they went for a less is more type of design. But where the design might be simplistic, the rest of the car is super futuristic and dare I say mind blowing. Let's start with the car's exterior. Like with the BMW iX Flow, this car can change colors. Now this isn't new for BMW, but where the iX Flow could only change between lighter and darker shades of grey, with this one you have 32 different colors to choose from and endless options with different patterns being available to the driver. So every day of the week you can have a different looking car. It's kind of cool, I mean on Christmas you can have a Christmas-esque car or on Valentine's you might make the car red. If you want to rob a store at night you can make the car a darker color so that you blend in with the night. Pretty smart. But it doesn't stop there. If the changing colors seem boring to you the car can also make faces on its digital interpretation of the BMW kidney grill. This allows the car to have its own like little personality. Now how does all of this work? Well the car has 240 individual panels, each of which has a film coating on the surface of the car's panel, whose microcapsule pigments change when heat with electricity. This film is claimed to consume very little power, which is an important consideration when you talk about electric cars. Now unfortunately this color changing film is still a ways out from making it to the street. The current panels can be damaged when they are subjected to everyday road encounters like bugs and car washes. So before we will be able to see this on any road going versions, it will have to be toughened up quite a bit. Now the weird ideas and features don't stop with the party paint. When people approach the concept, it is designed to display an image of the driver's avatar on the side window. And when the car senses that the driver is approaching, it will open the door and welcome you. That's some futuristic movie type shit. Moving to the inside, D stands for Digital Emotional Experience. And this emotional connection between man and machine is very important to BMW. Now you might have noticed that there is nothing there. The interior takes minimalistic to the next level. But their idea is to force the driver to use voice commands and keep their eyes on the road. Because voice commands work wonderfully. Imagine a Scottish person driving one of these, it will actually be quite funny. But I digress, the steering wheel will have touchpads and other ways to interact with the infotainment system. Speaking of which, there is none. All of the information that would have normally been shown on a traditional gauge cluster or on the center touchscreen will now be projected onto the entire width of the front glass. In other words, this is a heads up display on steroids and this massive interactive screen is also super customizable by the owner, so you can choose exactly what you want to see on your system. Now, it's important to remember that this is a concept car. The production model will most likely look a bit different and some of the features might change or fall away. Only time will tell. But BMW says that some of the features will become available on production models as early as 2025. But what do you guys think of this? To me, it feels very cartoony. But do you like it and do you think this is where the future of cars will go from a technological standpoint? I'm not talking about engines or what will power them, I'm talking about the interaction we will have with machine. Do you think this is where it will go and do you think there's a future in this color changing model BMW is going for? Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you like anything car related, this is the place to be, I make tons of videos on cars. So if you like cars, um, you like everything here, so just go through it, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?